Uh, <laughs> all right, talking about best Redskins. in the world, I should say. Redskins OTA talk here on Fourth and Pain, and so you talk about you know the rookies have jitters, uh, but it's good to be getting back in the swing of things. Good to see your teammates out there once again. The gang's all here. But what are you doing? I mean, obviously your knee isn't quite rehabbed to the point yet where you can get back on the field and participate. So what are you doing while everybody's running around? I'm a little bit different. Most of the injured guys, they're off with the training staff while while the other guys or the healthy guys are running drills and going against each other and individual work with their coaches. They're off to the side either running or doing speed ladders, doing what they can do based on their particular situations or, or injuries. I'm a little bit different in the aspect that I, I'm inside rehabbing because that's where I need to be for my rehab process and do, process doing what I need to do. I just I need to be inside. I need to be working with the trainer one on one and just getting this thing strong and ready to go for the season. You guys doing meetings out there, or is it all physical stuff, too? Well, the day basically begins at 8 o'clock. We have our meetings for a couple of hours. Then we practice for, I don't know, an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes, and then you get your lift in afterwards. Or you can do it before meetings if you wish, early in the morning. Do you participate in the meetings? Oh, I, I do I do everything. Just when it comes to practice time, I, I'm not able to do that just yet. So I, I'm doing my rehab getting better. Uh, well, okay. Well, last question before we kind of change topics, because I'm very excited about something that transpired between the WWE and the NFL this past week. Yes, the worlds are colliding, and I'd like to think, Adam, that you and I have a small part in it. Oh, that. we are the reason this happened. You're damn straight, but we'll talk about that in just about 30 seconds. But what is exactly being talked about in these meetings? Are we talking about installs just yet? Or, like, how far can you guys go with this new batch of players and everybody coming off of vacation? The D-line is different because everybody in our D-line meeting room was here last year. And most of the guys that are in there, not all of them, but most of the guys were here the year before and a good portion the year before that. Kedrick and I have been here for four years. Bo and Barry, this is their third year. So we don't have to go over the beginnings of the defense near as often. We don't, we're don't. we more moving past, shall we say, into the grad level of the defense. Uh, you know, when, when, a, when a play is called, we used to just worry about what we're doing. Well, now it's like, we're doing this because the outside linebacker is doing this, which can help you understand why you're doing it, help you doing it better so you can take it to the next level. So it's not just you and what your other D line mates are doing, but what's the linebacker doing? Who's blitzing? Where's he coming from? Because when you first learn the defense, you, you just want to do what you need to do, and, and that's what you need to worry about. But now we're working on that grad level 